Hey everyone, I thought we'd take a look at a great way to get 3D objects into Apple's Motion. As you may know, Apple recently updated their software to support 3D objects natively, allowing you to use and import USDZ files. There have been plugins around for a while that would allow you to import and work with 3D objects in Motion, such as MotionVFX's MO2 software. And if you're not familiar with this company, definitely check them out. They make a series of great plugins for Final Cut and Motion. When Apple's Motion was updated to natively support 3D USDZ files, it presented endless creative possibilities. Right now, the built-in library of Motion's 3D objects is still quite limited. Hopefully, they'll add more 3D objects to the library in upcoming updates. OBG files are the industry standard for most 3D file applications. They are quite plentiful online, and you can find them from a variety of websites, many of which are free. Today I'll show you how you can easily import OBJ files into Apple's Motion using the Vectory application. Now some of you may be wondering why not use Apple's Reality Converter app? Well after experimenting with it, I find it quite limiting and problematic, especially when bringing in the material files that typically accompany OBJ files. You end up getting a very bland base color model being imported into Motion. Using the Vectory application solves this. Vectory is a powerful online 3D tool that allows you to create, manipulate, and export detailed 3D objects and create beautiful 3D art. Now, there are many aspects of Vectory. I'm not going to get into all of them today because it's a very powerful tool. However, I am going to focus on how to convert 3D OBJ files to USDZ files for use in Apple's Motion. So once you've gone to the Vectory.com website, you'll see they have a few different tiers of pricing. Now it's important to note that this is a web-based software, which has its pros and cons. One of the advantages is, is that you can log on from anywhere, which I find is quite convenient. Log in and let's get to work. So once you have your new project created, you're gonna to go to the menu and you're gonna select import and you're gonna choose your file. And as you can see, it supports all these different file formats. So I chose to use this Roman pillar so what you're going to do is you're going to grab all these files, the OBJ file, the material file, and the JPEG. Now you can do fit object, or you can do keep original. Now if you go to library, you have some different options for your shading and materials. Now you can choose a whole bunch of different things. There's metal, wood. Sometimes these may take a minute to load. And of course, some of them will look better than others, depending on which object you're using and let's pick something that we think might suit our object. And as you can see, our object now has a new finish. And there's so many options with these. I'll do a tutorial diving in deeper to the capabilities of Vectory in a later tutorial. So if we're happy with our selection, let's import that into motion. So now it's time to export. Okay, so you're gonna to go to export now, and we're gonna change this to USDZ. You're gonna keep it the original size. We're gonna change the texture quality to 100. And now convert to USDZ. So now let's open up Motion. Once you get Motion started, you're gonna import your 3D object. Now here it is. All the new texturing is there. And it looks great. And as you can see, you can manipulate it just like you can with any other 3D object. I'm not going to get into all the details of working with 3D objects in motion today. Perhaps later on, I'll do an in-depth tutorial on that. Today, I just want to show you a quick way to bring in OBJ files into motion, as well as their material assets. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.